Hello there, Cancer. Welcome into Sage Center Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope that you're doing well. So, I feel good today. It's Sunday, it's a beautiful day. I have a beautiful energy. The last reading I did, well, the one before the last one I did for you guys, was talking about how happy and content you're feeling, right? And attracting beautiful things to you. So I started to shuffle just now before I hit record. And the Knight of Cups came out with the Knight of Wands. The energy I was feeling before both cards um, pops out of the deck was alignment. You know, like things are aligning, you know? between two and like energies coming together and then i'm feeling like something divine is happening here so i'm going to continue shuffling to see what messages come out because this could be saying oh my god this could be saying many different things it could be work it could be love romance you know it could be someone returning to you from your past it can be someone new we have water sign cancer pisces or scorpio so this could be your sign this could be your energy. And then we have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which could also be your energy cancer. All right. But as we shuffle, we will see. I do feel like the Knight of Cups is in fact or indeed your energy because I feel you are going. The energy I'm getting is not you're not going after romance or love per se it's more like you're taking your entire you are what you bear within this cup that's the energy you are you you're going as yourself it's as if you're you're, you're really sitting deep within yourself it's, it's 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 an energy of a painting i did once which is saying i am the heart of the art it's saying i am all that i am you're moving with your full self it could feel it feels as if you're moving with your heart you're being just pulled through your heart space, wherever you're going on your journey. And I feel like you're going somewhere amazing. It's almost like, listen, this is a night. You're going to the castle. And 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 you feel more than worthy of this. You're ready because you're you're being pulled by your heart for this. You're bringing your entire self. This card alone is, I'm going to have to do a read on this for you. So let me just... The energy you have, Cancer, you're as if you're bringing your entire self. Am I making myself clear? You're just putting all of you forward. You're not shy. You have no fear. I mean, even if you do have fear, you feel like you're able to conquer these. And you're going in the ring. I mean, you may be like putting yourself out there in love or putting yourself out there in a business connection perhaps wanting to reach out to another business and just i feel like it's almost like you love yourself you've accepted who you are you've come to such a wholesome place within you this is the night you're almost at queen then king status that's the energy you're embodying and it's so beautiful so confident and so filled with love and peace and clarity moving forward unquestionable it's as if you have already taken the leap of faith in whatever it is that you're doing and you're allowing that you're just allowing yourself to be brought by the tides the waves of your emotions which are true to you and also there's faith and guidance here with you you're walking protected here shielded okay so trust, I feel there's a lot of trust surrounding you. For the first time, I'm thinking that this person is a bit short. Do you see that short coming? Hmm. Why did I pick that up? The, the person feels short because you can tell that this person is tall versus this one who is a bit short. Okay. it's it's feeling as if the height does not really matter here no it feels as if your emotions have sort of filled you up or oh my goodness 
it's as if even if you're a short person it doesn't matter in this if it is an arena whatever you're putting yourself forward in height or whatever this is it doesn't matter because you are tall enough because your emotions are mature your emotions fill you up that's the energy it's as if you have water energy you know like in um avengers no i'm sorry not avengers the movie is avatar and there's the water energy the water power where Kitara is able to control the water in her body. I feel like you're able to do that. And then somehow it makes you taller, you know, so it makes you sit straighter, taller, appearing more confident, more sure of yourself, more sure of your emotions, more clear. That's the energy. And so I feel you move, you're able to move through. I feel like that was a very, very good analogy to, to use to describe or to decipher the energy I was feeling like literally being able as Kitara in, in airbenders in Avatar, being able to control the water in your own body to help you to sit straighter. And that means you're able to control your own emotions better, how you think of yourself, how you manage your internal world, the things you say to yourself, the love you give unto your own self that makes you more confident, makes you love you, you know? So whatever does not matter that's how i feel whatever other issues well, not issues oh my god that may seem to want to interrupt your flow from going forward you're on this conquest and you're not letting old doubts and fears keep you back you're moving forward and I feel like this is uh, like in love. This is someone you are seriously attracted to. This person is burning fire. When you look at this, it's like amazing. You are so attracted to this person. Remember that the roles can be reversed. Or I could be reading for a cross rusher here. Not only um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We do have cross watchers watching. So you could be the fire sign, and this person that's water sign, Cancer, Pisces. Well, can, and this Cancerian is really, really attracted to you right now. When they look at you, oh my gosh, it's like fire burning. It could be the way how you move, the way how you you're just the energy that comes out of you. It's so it's not it's not meant to be alluring. You're like a cat on fire you're just so mysterious so beautiful as if you just come out and give a dash a little bit of your light and then you disappear again and every time you come across this person's eyes or, or path they want to stop you for a minute but you go da dashing dashing away you know but this time cancer is determined to catch you and they're gonna catch your attention because they're sitting up taller Cancer has learned some lessons. Cancer loves themselves. Cancer knows what they're offering. Hey, Cancer knows what they're offering, what they're bringing to the table. Okay. And I feel like so this fire sign may indeed run into Cancer. Like may indeed just cross paths with Cancer because it, it's meant to be even for this fire sign. So the minute cancer really shift their vibration and become or became more confident or self-assured or whatever it is that you're doing with your emotions and making you appear so much more, you're just glowing so much more beautiful, so much, so radiant, so vibrant, yet so, it feels so chill. You're still so chill. That's the energy. But beneath that chill, you're so warm. I can't explain it. It's, it's amazing. It's really beautiful. Your spirit, your energy cancer in. And so I feel you do embody this fierceness that you see um, in this person. It is within you, Cancer, and that's what makes you so attracted to this person. This person ignites your fire. There's something in them that literally like just turns you on, makes you glow inside out. Your eyes light up when you see this person. That's why they look like fire to you. Maybe this person is a trailblazer in their mission on purpose and you just try to catch their attention, but they're just always on mission in purpose. And that's to, maybe to you that's attractive, so attractive. I could be dealing with a female cancer in here who's looking at a male that's possibly 
cancer and or possibly a fellow water sign also it could be a fellow water sign or fire sign okay okay so let's see so there, there's traveling and movement one is just just doing a lot of things in and out oh so i was saying this person may just cross paths with cancer and this person wasn't expecting it i don't feel like this person expected to <laughs> I do not feel like this person here expected to run upon someone else out here in the desert. But this cancer was making their way to you. The cancer did not know how soon they would find you, if they would, what's going on. Cancer is just following his heart or her heart on his journey, enjoying the view, you know, breathing more, sitting up straight, um, clearing out energies. I feel like cancer is just on this journey of healing, of well-being. Of um, giving, of giving back, of stopping, sometimes taking a break, enjoying. Cancer is really just going through life right now, beautifully, taking things easy, but realizing that they're being drawn to someone. So, cancer could be traveling, just moving alone through life right now until they feel like they have come up on that. What is it? Come up on. It's not the one, it's more the one. The one that is worth your time or your energy or your love or some interest or the one that not just that is worth it, but the one that is the, the one. You know, you're not looking for it, but you'll know it when it happens. But it's like you're just following something divine inside of you to enjoy your journey. That's, that's what's going on. Enjoy your journey. I hear speaking to the way you express yourself. Be authentic. And that's how you're learning to draw closer to you. And in doing so, just, just in, oh my God, just in following your own heart, your own path here, I feel just, sometimes I feel cancer moving away from the crowd, just being alone, being quiet, just, um, this is how I feel. Maybe you have one true friend, one person you talk to, that person could be yourself. <laughs> I'm serious, that, that, that could be you, just yourself that is with you on this journey. And then here comes this trailblazer who is always traveling, always moving through the desert, back and forth. It's so easy for this energy to go back and forth through the desert. It's, it takes nothing. It's it's what they do, you know, zoop, 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 in and out, just always on the go, blazing through beautifully, not really stopping or looking or glancing around, just going all the way through. And there, then, they, they're they riding through, and then they come up on this strange person who they did not expect to see out here in the desert on their own path as well, on this trailblazing path. But this person looks odd. This person is just taking their time, enjoying life as if there's nothing to do. And it's causing this, this fire energy to want to pay attention, to look, to slow down a bit, to trot a little bit and see who is this person. I don't think you see them yet, Cancer, but they see you. I, I, you know something is within the atmosphere but you're, you're still smiling i feel like you may have um taken a break you're sitting beneath a tree in the desert at a lagoon or something and this person may see you coming and they're so it's just so incredible they didn't expect to see you and so this person slows down wants to continue going but starts to wonder where am I, like, like, where am I going now? Is it that important or could I stay for this once in a lifetime opportunity to see what I've never seen this before? And something in you, I, and you're surrounded by water, Cancer, so I feel you are at a lagoon. You're possibly, like, dipping in the water. I feel your shirt, let's wring out your shirt. Just enjoying the day, taking it so easy. 
and this person is just wanting to come in dodging behind trees looking to see you and i feel like that's how you meet i don't know that's the energy someone is more amazonian than the other i don't know it's two two very different energies but still the same because it is what's in you that is attracting this person it is the your subtleness your grace your elegance your calm your beauty your the the way you move your dance the way you move in this life that is so different from everyone else maybe not in a hurry just you're cool you're cool because this person is fire and you're water and and so when this person saw you it 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 caused them to want to relax to be around you like this you could be ground a grounding energy for this person in a sense you know but when you see this person as something ignites in you i'm telling you it's amazing so i feel like when you turn around finally cancer and see this person your heart is racing your eyes are wide and immediately you become hot even though you're standing in water and i don't know what it is it's just this amazing connection that you feel immediately with this person it's beautiful okay and that's how the story goes <laughs> it's so beautiful something aligning divinely and that's the nine of cups energy and that's the nine of pentacles energy along with the hair of font Okay then. Oh, oh. Okay. The I, oh, pause. All right. Okay. See? Okay, it's coming. Mm -hmm. I feel like someone moved out of the way now. Uh, that's what I got with the emperor. When the emperor came out, I feel like someone is out of the way now. Someone is, has moved out of the picture now. Especially with the tower card, the ten of swords. And then we have the ten of cups, which is dream come true. There's something with Sagittarius energy. Remember we're looking at fire here. Sagittarius energy. Could talk about, it could be talking about balance. Hmm. Someone has moved out of the way, so there's space for someone else to come in. Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this is divine. Fire energy once more. I feel you You maybe f become friends with this person. F just, I feel it's, I don't know. Because we have the Hierophant, which is the card of getting married. We have happiness here. We have a, just being abundant and wealthy and radiant and offering love, something ending and then something brand new and beautiful, just literally aligning. Maybe something ending that caused two people to just be on their own journey and that's when they collide. And they're bringing to each other something. It feels like a grounding sense something in the it's maybe some it's something about focus and stability or some alignment within within oneself as the energy this will be a, another connection that will be so beautiful and life transforming, transforming, transformational, amazing. I mean, the two of you colliding will be, uh, will be so beautiful. That's how I feel. I, I just feel like if you two could make it to each other, so it's, it will be so beautiful. Um, all right, so that's where, because we do have the emperor and the empress now. So I feel like now the empress, it could be the, the empress that's now free, you know, <laughs> with the judgment. It's, that was so funny. It's as if people, there was someone watching you, waiting for you to be free. And as soon as this, this emperor left, 
sound the alarm the empress is the empress is free that's the energy i'm getting here it's beautiful and that's <laughs> it's so funny all right um and i see you may be free for true or for real or indeed or in fact or whatever working on your purpose focusing on your dreams focusing on aligning who you are there's you're, you're doing work here I, i'm getting earth sign as well that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you could be affiliated with a, with an Earth sign. Uh, possibly having to do with work. Or having to do with a situation where uh, it, it was in this experience. It caused you to become more financially balanced. Or even in your sense of value. To really step up in what you ask of yourself. And of the life that you live. Okay. So maybe this earth sign helped to transform your life so that you can sit up here even greater as the Empress. Beautiful, radiant, people running back around to you. And, oh, that sounds, oh my God, that's, that does not sound so nice. But I mean it, maybe I mean it how it sounds. People running back around to you, even those that don't deserve to be around you anymore. <clears throat> so because you look like the empress so and, and I, listen i feel like you're you all of this is happening in your life all the abundance and the joy and the happiness and maybe you decide to travel and leave all of that behind and that's when you come upon you come upon this fiery connection here in the lagoon out in the desert oh my god that's so beautiful all right it's a beautiful Sunday. Um, tarot spread story, cancer for you. Um, take the messages that apply. Feel what you feel. Let what resonates resonates with you. All right. General tarot card readings don't apply to everyone, so you have to take what applies and let the rest fly. And always dream big. The the dream come true card did come out for you, cancer. So of course, I feel whatever something you're wishing for, hoping for, have been praying for, and I feel. It's it's about to to show itself to you, and it could come through something ending or something clearing out, something moving out, someone moving on from you, or you deciding to move away from a situation. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. I love you, and I'll see you in the next reading. Remember, Ken, so that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world that you desire. So dream big because you are all and all is within you and i cannot wait to do much more amazing things with you on this channel cancer thank you so much for all of your love and support i really and truly appreciate it appreciate your time and energy have a wonderful sunday i hope this message gets uploaded before the sunday ends before sunset all right see you bye take care